What's up everyone? So today I just want to make a quick video sharing something really cool which was recently released for the Vita scene. This release was created as part of the Geeky Hen homebrew contest and it's called the Vita Homebrew Browser. And basically what it is is a homebrew store for the PlayStation Vita. It'll help you find homebrews, download them directly and then launch them. So basically it's an easy way of discovering new homebrews and installing them very quickly. It's a great idea for everyone who has 3.60 and Hinkaku to get this homebrew browser just so that you can easily find and install cool new tools for your Vita. So that's what I'm going to be covering in today's video. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to do is run your Hinkaku exploit. So I'll go ahead and start up Hinkaku through my offline exploit here in Mail. And with that done, we can go ahead and start up Vita Shell. With Vita Shell open, you can go ahead and push select, bring up either direct USB connection or FTP connection to your computer because we need to send a VPK file over to the system. All right, so the first link in the description will send you off to a page where you can download the Vita Homebrew Browser .vpk file. So you'll need to go ahead and download that file. Next thing you need to do is either bring up the USB connection to your Vita or since I'm on my PS TV, I have to use FTP. So here's my memory card. Here's my VPK folder and I'll just go ahead and move the Vita Homebrew Browser VPK across to my Vita. With that done, I can close my FTP software and let's head back to the Vita. So with the file moved across, just push circle back on your Vita to close the FTP or USB prompt. Now you need to find the folder where you sent the file to. So I sent mine into the VPK folder here. I'm just going to go ahead and select the VPK file and push X to install it. And yes, give it extended permissions because we trust it. So that's it. Now that install is complete, we can push home to quit out of Vita Shell, close the program, and scroll all the way down to find our new homebrew browser. So here it is, quite groovy looking. Nice Geeky Hen homebrew contest splash screen. I believe voting for the winner of that contest is currently taking place. This is how the loading screen looks. I believe it uses this time to download a list of all available homebrews, so just be patient. Now when the program's finished loading, this is how it looks. You start off with a new screen where you can see the latest additions, but there's also categories at the top here. You can push R1, sorry, L and R will cycle through the different categories. So first category is games. These are all homebrew games which you can only install on a system with Hinkaku. So there's some interesting things in here. Sudoku fans will be pleased to see a Sudoku app there. Resident Evil Code Vita sounds interesting. So these will all just be little indie games but still very cool to see them here. Next we have ports. So these are actually ports of games. Vita Doom Reminiscence looks to be a flashback clone. Prince of Persia, Another World for the Vita. Heart of the Alien, sequel to Another World. Um, some Zelda game, Katawa Shoujo, that's a popular dating sim. Another Prince of Persia and Vita Quake. So some really cool ports in there. Next up is the emulators tag. So this will have all of the different forks for RetroArch as well as some other ones pretty awesome and then utilities so what have we got in here vita chrome i guess that's a browser notepad plus plus a better text editor switch kaku which i've covered in a video before vita forecast if you want weather forecast and stuff one translate which i think is a translation tool that can perhaps even be used for games whitelister mem card swap that's a very cool tool a vita shell theme manager so you can have multiple themes for vita shell the offline installer which is a must-have button swapper good for swapping o and x i believe on different region systems epsp bubble installer which has my vote for being the winner of the geeky hen contest that's the tool that gets us easy epsp bubbles and also celeste blue was even able to figure out activation even when we don't have access to the playstation network 
which is why, in my opinion, it's amazing and deserves to win the contest. Arc Fast. I'll probably do a video on this tool. It's basically the best way of installing Arc on a system that already has Henkaku. Um, the video I put up for installing Arc was for 3.63 systems, but this is actually a better way for installing Arc if you have just 3.60 and Henkaku. Beta Testers, Theme Managers, VBK Mirrors, Battery Indicators, Shutdown Shortcut. A lot of people have been asking me about my PSTV shutdown icon. Here's a way you can get one, I believe. Wallalo app, My Dump Tool English, obviously a must have tool. Vita Pad, Ring Cheat, Adrenaline Easy Installer, I've covered that on this channel. Vita Shell, gotta have it, Anti Blacklist, and Vita Save Manager, I've made a video on that too. So as you can see, there's lots of cool homebrew, and it's very easy to just fire this up and at a glance see whatever's new that has been released into the store. So can't recommend this tool enough, guys. Very cool to have. So just to show it in action, I'm going to download Vita Forecast here to see how it looks, I guess. So just push X and then X again to download. You can see some information about the homebrew down the bottom of the screen. And the homebrew browser then handles the download. As soon as the download's finished here, you'll see it's going to unzip it for you and install it automatically. So it's very convenient like that. So you'll see it come up saying finished when it's complete. And if I push home to quit out of the homebrew browser here, I can see I have my new Vita forecast bubble. So we'll just quickly check out this tool since I've downloaded it and all. Enter my zip and country ID. Let's see if it lets us do this. Look at that. Perfect. 100% humidity, 0% cloudiness, 14.15 kilometer wind speeds. And look at that atmospheric pressure too, guys. It's popping off. So I'm very happy with that. That seems like a worthy addition to the Vita. If I close the tool, kick it back off again. Look at that, straight to my home city. Amazing piece of homebrew. As you can see, Homebrew Browser makes it very simple to find and install new pieces of Homebrew for your Vita. So there you guys have it anyway, that's the Vita Homebrew Browser. Hope you guys enjoy setting this up on your systems and just checking back every now and then. Hopefully you discover some cool new apps and tools you can have on your system this way. I've got heaps more Vita content lined up for the future, so do stay tuned. I'm having quite a lot of fun at the moment playing through Persona 5, so thank you guys for sticking with me even if you're not interested. Probably lots of my Persona 5 Let's Play have been showing up in your subs window, but uh, don't worry. My channel is always going to be a tutorial channel first and foremost. Anyways guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you learned something new. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw, and have a great day team. Thanks for watching. Peace.